helps you plan and then execute that plan perfectly, like a human being can't. So robot basically itself has got two parts. So this is what we call the aiming device or what helps you get to the target. And this is your control unit. Brain biopsy, for example. Normally they'll do it in a more manual way, but if you had a robot, you'll use the robot to align your trajectory. And then you actually make a very small hole. So your generally is between 18 and 20 millimeter hole. But with, with this technique, you can make it 2.4 mil or 3.2 mil. So you make the hole by inserting that, that tool then that comes out and then you can simply use this biopsy, biopsy insertion tool that goes in and then you, the whole biopsy goes inside the brain through that small hole. You take a sample of the biopsy and generally they'll send it back for pathology which then determines what type of use that is. Then they can make a clinical, clinical decision there and then about what they need to do next essentially. Just speeds it up. It's quick recovery because of you know a smaller incision. I think there's a lot of benefits around the efficiencies plus um, patient safety.